Hi there, I'm Marty Levinson. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine with the greatest cameraman around, Sonny Hirsch, and your host, Avi Myers. Thank you, Marty. Avi Myers, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Set us up on the web at www.ntnm.org. There's over a thousand videos available, over 300,000 watches. Thank you so much. We are extremely big on community policing. Um, Sonny Hirsch in the spare time is chairman of the district advisory of the 24th district. I myself have been a beat facilitator in 1995. I was asked to take over beat 2412 for a couple of months till they could find a replacement. Still waiting, guys. Come on. <laughs> so um, in any event, but uh, it's something I'm very proud to be a part of and something that definitely makes a positive difference in the community. And along that vein, I believe it's August 2nd. I don't have the calendar in front of me. But it's the first Tuesday in August is National Night Out. And to explain to people what National Night Out is in part and all the rest of it is um, our new favorite active police guest, our only active police <laughs> guest, who's willing to come on the show. And that is Commander Mark Buslick. How are you? I'm good, Avi. Thank you. First of all, thank you. And you were the commander of the 14th District, I believe? Y yes. And that's like Wicker Park and Wicker Park, Logan Square, uh, Bucktown, Humboldt Park, a little bit of Avondale, south end of Avondale. Does that six oh six new thing go through your uh, area? It goes right through my district. I will be there bright and early Saturday morning uh, mm -hmm. as the mayor cuts a ribbon. Uh, let me ask you this: Do you just out of curiosity? Because I've been reading about this for years and years and years, and the, the reader used to run tremendously long stories about it. Right. There was a lawyer who was very involved, who, who ran for judge, who turned me on to the whole thing. Um, prior to it becoming a park, it was a crime problem, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it, it, there was a certain draw because of the geography. I wouldn't, necess wouldn't necessarily call it a crime problem so much as uh, uh, just a draw for, for some unsavory kinds of things. No, I hear that. but. Uh, I mean, I was reading uh, Blair Kamen's article in the Tribune mm, Sunday, right? and it sounds like it's going to be absolutely spectacular. Well, we're very much looking forward to it. Uh, safety and security has been a, a big component of the design, and the police department was involved um, very early on in that design process. Uh, so we've provided a, a fair amount of input, and they've been very uh, cognizant of, of both safety and security. Uh, so we're, we're looking forward to it. Um, you know, I think it's going to be a big draw. I think it'll be used a lot by the residents. And uh, we, we have our plans uh, in place to make sure that it's safe. No, it sounds nice and sunny. We actually, I don't know if you still do some biking. Mm -hmm. They're gonna have a bike path over there. And um, he's a big fan of sumac and they've actually planted sumac along right. the trail. Really? Yeah, really. Right. <laughs> Anytime I see sumac, I think about you. <laughs> I don't know anybody else who likes sumac. <laughs> <laughs> or even knows what sumac is. I don't. <laughs> it's a treat. <laughs> gotcha. Um, so, but, okay, let's talk about National Night Out. Sure. Um, National Night Out uh, is actually August 4th this year. Uh, as you said, it is the first Tuesday in August. Um, uh, except in Texas and Florida where they are actually able to do it in October because of the, the heat. Oh, the weather, yeah. It's a, it's a weather issue. But everywhere else in the country, it's the first Tuesday in August. Uh, National Night Out began in 1984. Uh, it's kind of sponsored by an organization known as the Nas National Association of Town Watch. And this is a nonprofit organization um, that really brings together a lot of uh, anti-crime initiatives, crime prevention programs, uh, different efforts by non-for-profits, non uh, as well as police departments. And the idea behind National Night Out is to provide an opportunity, um, uh, kind of in a, in a big way for that one night, for uh, uh, communities and police departments to uh, get together and uh, kind of uh, I express their partnership. Um, interestingly, the concept is what uh, community policing is founded on, this idea of a partnership between the police and the community. And National Night Out gives 
police departments, and in the case of Chicago, various police districts, an opportunity to um, really share with the community, do a lot of creative kinds of uh, events, and uh, kind of uh, um, an open house sort of thing, um, whether on the micro level, like you were talking about earlier, at the beat level, or for, for each of the districts. As a matter of fact, one of the problems that the commanders always, the various commanders have had is, we've got nine beats here, and in a two-hour span, it's impossible for them to make them all. Right, yes, <laughs> yeah, yes it is. And, but it, the idea there is that, um, certainly here in the 24th district, uh, um, the, the diversity of the, the um, various communities really kind of dictates it that it be a very micro kind of effort. Uh, in my district, the 14th district, uh, we have what amounts to uh, an open house at the district station and uh, we have a lot of different things going on. We have a little entertainment, we have things for kids, uh, we have our, our crime prevention people come on out and talk to people about uh, crime prevention techniques. Uh, and then we have some of the kind of cool stuff. The mounted unit, unit comes out. Oh, nice. Um, we have uh, um, the National Guard uh, and the Army, because we have a, a, the Armory at Kedzie and North Avenue. They participate, they come and kind of you know, show some of the efforts that they put forth. So it, it's really about the community and police, uh, the police department getting together saying, hey, look, this is a team effort. Uh, let's kind of have a good time on, the, on this night and show that, it, that we're really working together. No, and it's important too. And one of the things I'll tell you over the course of time that I, I've been, you know, since community policing has started, I've noticed that the police themselves are much less weary of a lot of the citizens. They get to meet a lot of people, talk to them, right. see their concerns. And people also lose their misconceptions about police officers the same way. And I think it makes for a friendlier, more helpful situation. Especially with all this crazy nonsense going on in the world, people need to understand that 99 and, 9, 99 and 44 one hundredths percent, if not more, of the police officers are good people who are looking to help you know, the community and do good work. And they're not looking to do X, Y, and Z to, you know, to, to people, it's just not the case. I mean, I, I don't have to tell you, you can teach me a lot about how dangerous that job is. I mean, I think of, of guys like Officer Jim Mullen, who, who was in this district in, in Rogers Park, who um, you know went on a domestic disturbance, and the guy needs 24-hour help, he's a complete quadriplegic, um, you know, he, he needs a, a tube to breathe and, and a wheelchair to get around, and. We want to have him on the show, but we're not, it's a house with stairs. It's not handicapped accessible for him. Right. But that, that kind of thing can happen from the most simple call. It can, and, you know, we don't really focus on that inherent danger. Um, uh, you know, we know it's there. Uh, everybody understands that risk. Um, you know, our, our bigger concern is just being able to uh, be effective. And, um, you know, right now it's, it's, Policing in general is kind of getting uh, beat up, and uh, we certainly believe it's unfair. And uh, but you know everybody's out there, and we're we're doing the best that we can. Yeah, no, I think it's definitely unfair, and uh, we we I could probably talk for four hours about it, but I don't want to get you into any trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because that, that's that's what happens to people when I open up my mouth. It's like don't confuse our, you know, he's his own. Believe me, he's a commander. He's his own guy. So, um, so you, it sounds like you've got a nice setup over there. I, we used to right. actually, at one time, have neighborhood-wide events, and in some ways I liked them better because instead of Sonny, and I think Sonny did too, because instead of us having to do all this work to organize a single event, right. we take the camera around and film everybody else. <laughs> and I really preferred that kind of thing, to tell sure. you the truth. Sure, sure. So, uh, but no, it's nice. So we're 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 going to have ours at Warren Park this year. Sonny's going to have his at Greenbrier Park. Um, you're going to have yours at the. Where's the police station? Police station is at twenty one fifty North California. We're right at California in the Blue Line, uh, California stop, just south of Fullerton and Milwaukee. 
Yeah, is it a newer police station? Is it an older station? Yeah, it's or? an older station. We opened in 1984, so we've been around for a little bit. You know, it's definitely a little bit, but uh, um, anyhow, do you, do you ask for people to volunteer? Do you get uh, other people involved? Or? Sure. Our, uh, our community policing office is uh, heavily involved in um, bringing in uh, businesses to help us uh, as well as the uh, beat facilitators, uh, their networks. So everybody gets a chance to participate and uh, again the idea is uh, to do it as a team effort and you know once again to show that uh, um, public safety is in fact a team effort and, and it's not just the job of the police uh, nor is it something that just the uh, community is concerned with but you know, everybody all together. You know, one of the most frequent things I used to hear in the old days is people would complain, why don't the police do this or that? And a lot of times they just don't know. And then you ask the person, did you call 911? Well, no. Right. How and, are you supposed to know? <laughs> yeah, that, that's obviously a, a regular uh, uh, effort on our part is convincing people to call us and tell us what's going on. Um, we're very good, but we're, we're, we can't know everything. And the people on the block, they pretty much know everything. So the, the idea is to get them comfortable with the idea of sharing that information with us. Yeah, and Mipet Commander Roussel, uh, our PS commander, is now a special assistant to, uh, to Commissioner McCarthy, he used to say he really liked the Alice Kravitz types on every yeah. block, meaning nosy neighbors. Absolutely. So that, that's definitely a help along those lines. Yep. Um, you know what? As long as you were the guy good enough to come here, I want you to let people know the neighborhood and the number of the community policing office if people in your neighborhood want to help sure. out your efforts for, for National Night Out. Sure. But you can't ask for money. I mean, people, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's station we, uh, rules. Yes. So, uh, uh, the number at the station yeah. is 312-744-8290. Ask for the community policing office. And uh, you know we're happy to tell you what's going on. And what neighborhoods does that uh, cover? Again, this is Logan Square, Wicker Park, Bucktown, and Humboldt Park. And the number again? 744-8290. You can also follow us on Twitter, uh, at ChicagoCaps14. Cool. And uh, we, we pretty much keep people up, updated. It sounds good. Any any other things you'd like to mention last minute? No, I don't think so. But uh, thank you again for the opportunity. And, oh, it's my uh, pleasure, and thank we you. We will I'm glad. keep working together. And, and hint, hint, police officers, we, we, we want you on the show. <laughs> Even Commander McCarthy, we want you on, or Commissioner McCarthy, we want you on the show. Okay. Uh, Commander Mark Buslick, thank you so much for enlightening us about National Night Out, and all the best of luck in your work. Thank you. Thank you.